Hello and welcome to Let's Learn Computing. I'm Todd Colwell. Today's tutorial is to create a mind map about staying safe online with Mindomo. It's for Windows PC, it's for iPad and Android tablet, and there's also an offline version as well. The subject is computing and it's for children ages 7 to 9. To do this lesson, you need to make sure you have Mindomo. And I'm going to assume for the purpose of this lesson that you've already discussed online safety. So I can just focus on the, the mind mapping part. So the concepts today is to consolidate the knowledge of how to use technology safely and also to do mind mapping. And the easy activities are to create a basic mind map. So I'll show you how to do that. And I'm using Windows PC for this. So if you go to mindemo.com, uh, this is the first login page. And it's really good because if the children have their own Google account, they can just click Google and it will just ask them, do you give permission for Mindomo to um, modify the Google account? And it just click yes for that. All right, so you just simply click create to get started. And then we can go to the uh, window for the, what type of format do you want to have? What sort of layout? I'm going to call this staying safe online. Okay, so the first thing you get is called the parent, the block in the middle of the mind map and which all of the other the branches will come from that one in this sort of layout. So you just simply click up here to insert a topic and then these second ones are called, as it says, the main topic. So then uh, you just type different ways to be safe online, so such as use strong passwords. Okay, and then just click somewhere else on the screen or just tap somewhere else on the tablet to say that you finish editing and then you can also do a subtopic from the main topic so to do that just keep going just press plus again and you can see the subtopic comes up so something like this there's a great website called DinoPass to uh, use strong passwords which you might have talked about in class now make sure that you click on the main topic first otherwise it's going to make more and more and more subtopics so we just click here first and then click plus and then it will add the subtopic correctly. So you might have a situation where it gets a bit off track here and that's a good prompt for me to use the zoom buttons down the bottom right and so you can just zoom out and in, hold down the mouse to drag or with your finger to drag on a tablet or this one centralizes the, the mind map so you can if you get off track so you can just see it again. All right, so of course, if you make a mistake, this is the undo button and the redo button. And next of all is to have a look at dragging the different topics around. If the children decide they want to put that one up here, and you see it's a nice curved line still connected to the parent in the middle, uh, they can do that. Um, also, this little smiley face down here is a very friendly little icon option. So you might have something like a lock would be a suitable one for a strong password okay and you can just click the x to uh, close that next is the themes which is over here this circle with the lots of little circles in the middle it's also the same on the tablets so there's lots of different themes and if you scroll down uh, i found the children tend to like using the dark themes i guess because they're normally used to using white paper or day in their books so uh, something like that and then uh, there's menu on the tablet slightly different to this, but the, the options are the same. So what sort of background do we want like that? Okay, so now I've gone ahead and changed the background. I need to go and change the color of some of this text. So to edit the text, just double click, and then you should get a menu to come up and to say, how do you want to edit the text? There it is. So here's the font, of course. You can change that, you can make this bigger, it can be bold. Um, the usual options, and I need to make this a little bit darker. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and finish off the mind map about how you can stay safe online, and then I'll show you the medium activities. Okay, so now I've got a few more ways to stay safe online. Be polite, keep personal information safe, don't friend strangers online. I'm now ready to put some other multimedia in to make it look really good. So first click on the main topic or the subtopic you want to add multimedia to and then go to this one, add multimedia. Now on the PC, you can embed videos from YouTube or Vimeo, uh, but on the tablet, you can only just put images. Uh, but the really good thing on the tablet is that you can put it straight from the device's camera as well. So I'm just going to go to Google Images. And since this is 
about strangers. I'm going to search for stranger. And there we go. So we just click on the image. And then after that, we can click the X. Now we might need to do a little bit of resizing so you can see. So that's the medium activity to add images to the main or the subtopics. Uh, it's quite an easy program to use. I found that most children got to that stage actually. So, so I didn't add any challenge activities in this tutorial. Okay, so when the children have finished their mind map, they've got all pictures if they've got to that level. Then on the PC, they need to click the three lines here and then they go to download. And then you can see there are many, many different formats. There's also the option to upgrade to a premium feature. But for most times, the, either the free uh, PNG image file will be fine. So it can download. On the tablet, there's a little I button instead, and they can download it as an image file as well. And then once it's on the device, they can send it to you using your school's learning management system. To request a tutorial or to download a copy of the slides used in this tutorial, visit letsknowncomputing.com. While you're there, please subscribe to the Let's Learn Computing YouTube channel so you don't miss a tutorial. I'm Todd Colwell, thanks for listening and see you next time.